Hi everyone, this is Dave from Reliable Hydroponics and today we're looking at LEDs and the reason why perhaps you should consider them for your grow room. Uh, so, you know, it's the most common question we get asked, are LEDs any good? Do they do the job? Why should I buy one? And in this uh, spreadsheet here, we're going to look at a very simple aspect. What is the cost per year of an LED versus the alternatives? So here you can see we've got the CFLs, we've got the HPS, and we've got the Migro. The Migro LED is manufactured in Ireland. It's something we support. So I'm using them as an example here. We've actually got a few grows going on where we can show you videos of how they're going on. So uh, cost. Whenever you're buying a light, the true cost is actually the cost of running that light. It's the cost of electricity. So here we've got the actual watts that these different bulbs use. As you can see, the CFL says it's 300 watts. It's nothing like that. They run at about 180. The 200 is 140, and the 130s run at 100. With the HPS, it's the other way around. It will run at 600 watts, but you're going to have an overhead of about 20 watts for a digital ballast. A magnetic ballast would be even more. So we've gone with a, a cheap digital option here to, to give you a good comparison. So then we multiply that by 24, that, that number of watts, to give us the number of watt hours per day. Multiply that by 7 and divide it by 1,000 to give us kilowatt hours per week. And multiply that by 52 to give us kilowatt hours per year. We can then multiply that by this uh, cost of electricity here, 0 0.16 euros. And that gives a gives an annualized electricity cost per year for each of those bulb types. And what you can see here straight away, massive cost of a 600 watt HPS. Each bulb is going to cost you about 915 euro per year if you left it on 24-7. We do the 24-7 comparison over a year because it's the fairest way and it's the most simple visual way to see what's going on. So here we have a 300 watt CFL coming in, it's about 265 euro a year. I'd expect that to be a comparison for the Migro or maybe even the 250 watt HPS. So the Migro here comes in below pretty much everything else other than a uh, 100 watt CFL which, believe me, is just no comparison when it comes to yield. So then, on top of the electricity cost, you've got the purchase cost. So if we look at again, we've got the three CFLs here, we've got the kit purchase cost. Now, you want to replace the CFL every two years. So you're going to be replacing the lamp. You don't need to replace the reflector, the cables, or anything else. And this gives us a 10-year kit cost here. And you can see 355 euro for the 10 years just for the kit of the 300 watt CFL and again we bring that down to an annual kit cost the same as we did with the electricity works out at 35 euro for the 300 watt CFL now it's a little bit different with the HPS the kit cost is a little bit more this is a digital ballast but every year you want to be replacing that lamp a HPS lamp will drop off pretty quickly after about seven or eight months so the efficiency of the light goes down but the amount of energy it uses stays the same so you want to be changing that bulb pretty frequently and the bulb cost is much lower than the CFL, so it's, it's no great harm to do that. But as well as changing the lamp every year, you're going to have to change the ballast every two, maybe three years. I've done this example on two years because I've gone for a cheap ballast. So replacing the ballast every two years, bulb every year, comes out with a 10-year kit cost of €775, Euro, which is €77.50 Euro per year. And that's the same for all three of the HPS systems because they're all using the same thing other than the lamp, and the lamps all cost about the same. At the bottom, we've got the Migro. The Migro is 370 euro to buy. Yes, it's more cost. 370 euro would be about the equivalent of a 250 watt HPS. So for most home growers, you know, you're going to have to get one, maybe even two of these units, which is more of a cost. And bear that in mind in this comparison. But, you know, it's got a 10 year lifetime. And in that 10 years, it's not going to drop off on light. It's not going to drop off on power. It's going to be constant and consistent. You're not going to have the problems with it that you might have with a CFL with bulbs blowing if it's a bad supply. So the total annualized cost is €37 Euro per year. And here you can see it starts to come in line with the CFLs in terms of cost over life. So the final table here, what is the cost per light type over 10 years for electricity and for the kit? And the 350 watt CFLs leading the way at the start with €300. Euro. It's not a bad lamp for that price. And that's, that's a pretty good cost, including electricity. 600 watt HPS, boom, you're looking at a thousand euro a year for kit and electricity. That is what you're trying to fix. This is where you're trying to get that number down. That's the true cost. So the Migro there comes in at the bottom, 194 euro per year. 
representing great value over 10 years. So if you're only going to do this once, if you're only trying it out for a year, fine, go for the CFLs, go for the HPS. If you're looking for real return and you're keeping your costs down over the long time, Migro. Or should I say LED Spectrum King, someone else. Now this is just the numbers and you know, we verified these numbers, we've run tests. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and have a look at what actually happens when you use the Migro. Is it as good as other CFLs, HPS, and you know, are you going to get a return on that lamp? Will it increase the yield?